Political participation is, in some ways, a puzzle or a paradox, perhaps. So one way of thinking of human nature is that humans will tend to do things if the personal benefits to them outweigh the costs. So I would engage in politics to the extent that I think that I would gain more than the effort, the time, the money that I spent. Now, for most people, that clearly is not going to be the case. There are very strong incentives to free ride regarding politics. Uh, consider even the simple act of voting. Uh, for me to vote, I have to register, I have to learn the registration rules, I have to then go cast a ballot on the right day, the right place, the right time. Uh, all of this means I have to take time off work, I have to leave my family, I have to get transportation and so forth. And the fact is my vote is just not going to affect the outcome of the election uh, almost at least almost never, right? The election is almost never decided by a single vote. So the person I would vote for, the person or the policy, would win whether I vote or not. If it wins, I get the benefit without any cost. And if my preferred candidate or policy loses, then I didn't waste any time or effort voting. So it seems like I should not really vote on a rational basis. But let me go just one step up from that. So why would I want to give say, $100 to a political campaign. Well, that $100 is just not going to make the difference. A lot of money in politics. My $100 will not uh, help my candidate or policy win, probably. And uh, if I my candidate or policy loses, then I'm just at $100 without uh, anything to show for it. So, again, strong reasons to free ride. Now, there is the exception for those who are wealthy enough or powerful enough that their participation is likely to actually make a difference. So if I could give $50 million towards a campaign, that $50 million may actually affect the outcome. And if it affects the outcome, perhaps, and I say only perhaps, I would be able to obtain more than $50, $50 million in policy or political benefits, perhaps. So some people, it might uh, be rational to participate. So then why do people participate? Why do people give money, uh, canvas, campaign, call their members of Congress? I mean, all sorts of forms of political participation are not easily explainable on the narrow self-interest model. So why do people participate? Well, perhaps they do it because they have beliefs about uh, something that's good. So we participate because we think it's our duty as a citizen that good members of the community do such things, that it's important for me as a citizen to have the self-image that I'm a good citizen. Or perhaps people do it to uh, just express something about their personality, like uh, it's important for, for, for me to know that I voted for the right person, that I stood up for the right causes, that I did the right thing, as I can understand the right thing, because it's important for my self-image. Uh, perhaps we participate in politics as part of a community. That is, I want to believe that uh, I connect with other like-minded folks so that I can say to others, yes, like you, I voted. Yes, like you, I was out there working on the campaign. So it's not about individual self-interest, but it's about being a member of a community. So there are puzzles about American politics in terms of participation. Why people participate, who participates, how do they participate. It can be explained in part by self-interest, but broader images, uh, broader concerns regarding self-identification, membership in a community, or duties and obligations of citizenship are also important. Go forth, study political participation, and should you choose, participate.